Hello everyone, it's author and relationship coach Brad Browning here, and today I'm going to talk about how to stop yourself from contacting your ex. Now I know I talk a lot about not contacting your ex here on my YouTube channel and in my articles, but again, this is a very powerful tactic. For many people though, it's not the easiest tactic in the world to pull off. I mean, I'm sure you've spent nights contemplating what you could say to your ex right then and there, so it takes a lot of self-control to actually pull this off well. But as I've mentioned before numerous times on this channel, it's always best to cut off the lines of communication with your ex, at least for you know a few weeks after the breakup. There are many benefits to this period of no contact. It'll make your ex miss you, it'll show them you're strong enough to handle life after a relationship together with them, and it can also help to make them jealous. But even though you may already know all these benefits of not contacting your ex, the urge to talk to them can sometimes be pretty overwhelming. I understand that. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you not contact your ex. Number one, put down the bottle. Not surprisingly, one of the things that can totally ruin your self-control and lower your natural inhibitions is alcohol. So if you really want to win back your ex, and you're the type to drunk dial after you've been into the adult beverages, then you really need to think about laying off the booze during the period of no contact. This might seem like an unreasonable suggestion if you're the type to use alcohol to numb the post-breakup pain, but a single drunken text message can really push your ex away and upset him or her, or worse, depending on what you've said. So for your own sake, don't overdo it on the liquor if you're prone to drunk dialing your ex. Number two, delete your ex from your contact list. I know, seems way too easy, right? Well, for starters, many people have their ex's phone number memorized already, which makes this a bit of a useless tip. But if you don't have your ex's phone number memorized, then deleting them from your cell phone contacts list is pretty much the easiest way to stop yourself from contacting your ex. If you're worried you might not be able to recover your ex's phone number when the no contact period is over and you want to contact her, just write your ex's contact info on a piece of paper and give it to a trusted friend with instructions not to return the paper to you for at least a month. Number three, remove all reminders. As you probably already know, after a breakup it's wise to remove any visible reminders of your ex. So take down the photos of you together, put the stuffed animals and love notes in a box in the basement, do whatever it takes to remove any visible reminders of your ex from your immediate surroundings. By eliminating reminders of your ex, you'll help push him or her to the back of your mind, making it less likely you'll feel the urge to contact them. Number four, train yourself by setting a rule. Set a rule such as this. Every time you think about contacting your ex, put a dollar bill in the piggy bank and remind yourself that not contacting your ex is the best way to get him or her back. Other people prefer uh, more painful or irritating self-reminders. For example, anytime you reach for your phone to text your ex, poke yourself in the eye or do something, pretty much anything, that's unpleasant in the hopes that this action will remind you of why it's a bad idea to contact your ex for now. And my personal favorite? Each time you grab your phone and think about calling or texting your ex, send yourself a text instead saying, I must not talk to him or her instead. Number five, get support from a breakup expert. In other words, me. If you want to learn more about my program and how you can help yourself from stop, stop contacting your ex, just go to breakupbrad.com and watch the full-length presentation on that website. In it, I go over the three things you must do if you want to get your ex back. And with all my other videos, if you have a question, then please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Also, like this video if you found it helpful, please. I really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.